Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you are well. Well, it's a rainy day here in Jamaica. I'm making for breakfast this morning some pine skin tea with a little sorrel, some, what is it called again? Some cinnamon and the thing and some cloves, right? So I'm making some tea, so I'm going to blend out the pine skin so that I can get as much as the vitamin C that is in there as possible and there are some pines on the pine skin as well so I want to get all of that goodness out into my tea so stick around and also for breakfast I'll be making some fried dumpling and so and I'll be eating that with some lintel peas i'm not sure if i'm going to curry it or just stew it we'll see what will happen so there it is guys using some cinnamon leaf not cinnamon powder and i've added that in and i'm gonna allow that to boil and then i turn the fire off and let it steep and here i have my chickpeas boiling to eat with my fried dumpling. I have made the dough already for the fried dumpling. I'll show that to you shortly. So here's the dough. I've made it already. I've placed a piece of wrap around it. So I still let it sit there for a minute. I find that when you do this, it allows the dumpling to be much softer. So to this dough, I added some pink salt, a bit of cornmeal, some cinnamon powder, and I mixed it with ice cold water. And also, I had a little bit of uh, what is it called again? Baking powder, yeah. So, I added a little bit of baking powder to it as well. And I'm allowing it to sit, and then I'm going to fry it. So stick around, I hope you are enjoying the video so far. Do you like fried dumpling? And you can put in the comment section, how do you make your fried dumpling? Or if you do eat fried dumpling in your country, or maybe it's not called fried dumpling, it's called something else. You can leave a comment in the comment section. So I am going to, in the meantime, prepare my seasoning for my lentil stew and it's white flour that I use normally I don't eat white flour because I'm trying to stay away from the flour and the rice but I'm feeling for a little fried dumpling today so it won't hurt to eat a little it's not like I'm doing it every day so this is what the dough look like as I showed you before it's so time for fry let me show you a little bit of what is happening outside. The birds seem to be cold. They're staying close to each other. It's raining, as I said before earlier in the video. It's raining here. So the birds are a little bit cold. They're outside on the veranda. Can't carry them inside because they're going to mess the place up. So I keep them on the veranda. It's not raining that hard to carry them in anyways. The rain has eased up somewhat, so it's not a lot of rain, that's a little drizzle now, but it has been raining since last night, thunderstorm and lightning. I wouldn't say thunderstorm, but lightning and a lot of thunder. And heavy showers last night, but it has eased up now from morning, it has been raining, it was raining heavier than this before. But I'm happy for the rain because here in Jamaica the time is so hot. Really grateful to God for the rain. All right, here is the the seasoning I will be using. So I have my onion, my sweet pepper, my scallion, my pepper, some garlic below, and I'll be adding some natural herbs to it as well. I'll be adding some basil leaf, dried basil leaf to it, to my seasoning when I'm cooking it up. What is this? Organo and 
some rosemary to to it all right so i'm going to slice these up and then start frying my fried dumpling so the tea here it's boiling up so i'm going to turn the fire off now and allow it to steam smelling very nice wish you could have some but I'm going to get too far, but when I can try the ingredients, are very good here. And I'm just going to drink this as it is, and I'm not going to add no sugar. I don't normally add sugar to my tea. This is the lentil, it is finished boiling. So I'm going to throw this water off, I'm going to strain it off, and then allow it to drain a little. And then let's start doing my tea. So I'm going, remember, I'm going to stew it or curry it. So I need to get some tomatoes. If I'm going to stew it down, I need some tomatoes. I'm going to get some tomatoes to add to the seasoning that I have over there. So I'm going to pour this water off now. So here is my chopped seasoning. My tomato, garlic, onion and scallion, sweet pepper. And I said pepper already. Yes, a scotch bonnet, scotch bonnet pepper over there. Also going to put some thyme in it. And I'm also going to use a piece of turmeric. I like to add turmeric, thyme, and some garlic to my oil when I'm going to saute my seasoning. So I'll be doing that as well. Well, the pepper was so hot. Hot, hot, hot. I don't taste it, but I tell you, the fragrance of it was giving me a cough. But I'm going to continue and I'll show you what I've done so far. So here they are frying fried dumplings. I'm going to cover this now, cover this the pot over now, and I'm going to gauge the fire because I don't want them to get burnt and I want them to be as soft as possible. So I'm going to cover the pot and allow them to take them time and fry. I didn't make a lot. This is about eight fried dumplings and I made them very small. See them there coming along nicely. I'm going to cover it back and give it about 10 more minutes and then I'll finish. See they're coming along nicely. I'm gonna give it about 10 more minutes and then I'll finish. Guys, here is some smoked red herring. I did not remember that I had it in about while cutting up the seasoning, I remember. So I say you know what? I've cooked it before with the lentil and it tastes really good. So I said let me try it again. Because the lentil by itself can be ate, it is a really a delicious, delicious, delicious protein. The lentil you can stew it, you can curry it, you can add coconut milk to it, you can do as you wish to it. Anyhow you do, you do the lentil, it tastes really nice. But it tastes even nicer with this smoked red herring. So what I had done was taken off the skin from the red herring and then I pour some boiling water onto it to get off the grease and the excess salt. And I pour the water on it two times. I don't allow it to soak for too long because I don't want it to get very fresh and lose the flavor, but it is not salt as it is now. And it's just a little piece, just a little piece that I had, a piece, a tail and a head. That was what was sold in the container. And so it is smoked. And I'm going to now saute it in the seasoning. So here you have it. I have my thyme, a piece of garlic, and turmeric. I added this to some coconut oil to allow to add some additional flavor to the oil, and then I'm going to add my additional seasoning to it. So here it is. My seasoning is being sauteed, and people. It smells really good, not because it's not good, it smells good. Good, 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 good Jamaican cooking. My mother teach me well. So, these are my seasoning being sauteed, and then 
And it's after this, I'm going to add my red herring to it. So I had my little piece of red herring. It's so small, you can barely see it, but I tell you, it's going to add a lot of flavor to it. Oh, the camera getting foggy because of the steam, but you can see the red herring here and there. Okay guys, here it is now. My stew lentil with smoked red herring. I put the sweet pepper last in it because I want it not to be too soft or to be crunchy. Also, I added a little bit of cinnamon powder to it and some cayenne pepper. It is smelling good and it tastes even better. Wish I could have get some, but when you can't try it and tell me how food I won't turn out, but this is really a healthy, yummy meal. And I hope you will try it and tell me in the comment section how yours turned out. And to make this an even healthier meal, you could cook it, eat it with some boiled banana, some ground provision, some sweet potato, you know. Yeah, you could eat it with some ground provision to make it a really healthier meal or those who would could even have this for lunch or dinner I'm talking about the lentil here you could have it with some quinoa yeah some mashed potato some mashed banana some tonka meal mixed with what you call again with pumpkin that tastes really good you know you ever tried it turn meal maybe in, in the foreign country you call it polenta with pumpkin it's really nice and you add some coconut milk to that one well, nice so so this is a really healthy meal guys so here it is guys my fried dumpling very soft and moist not hard at all very yummy very soft not because of me make them but I tell you them soft See them there and I put them on some napkin so the napkin can take out the excess oil yeah they were fried in coconut oil yeah Jamaican coconut oil and let me show you now the lentil smoke red herring salmon not salmon lentil sorry the smoke herring and lentil stew I'm going to show it to you now there it is, isn't it looking lovely? And can I tell you, it tastes even better than how it looks. It is smelling delicious and it tastes delicious. I hope you will try this recipe, it is really yummy. The lentil stew here and it has lentil has a lot of benefits for the body. So it's really it really can could have been it by itself but i just wanted to add the red herring to it because i like the flavor that it adds to the lentil oh and i don't show them my tea here so i'm going to show them the tea now hold on dear so here is my tea into my mug you want to see what is on my mug it's a good vibes yeah good vibes and this tea brings out a lot of good vibes empty tea this nice herbal tea and what in there again it have been pineapple skin with some pineapple i blend that i added some cinnamon leaf and some cloves and allow it i allow it to boil up and then i cover it and let it steam very yummy tea and i don't add any sugar to it so this is my rainy day breakfast here in jamdong jamaica dong yard yeah fried bread where do i get bread food from fry dumpling pineapple cinnamon clove tea and lentil smoked red herring stew very lovely breakfast this is very expensive breakfast here in jamaica if i was to go to a restaurant to buy this this morning i was spending about two thousand dollars yes expensive breakfast and if i had gone to a vegan store they wouldn't have given me maybe fried dumpling but ground provision about two thousand two thousand five for this breakfast here at a vegan store here in jamaica and you know but it is very yummy very delicious and i hope you did enjoy this video and please 
If you have reached this far in the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Have a blessed day, evening, or night. Bye.